hopefully, if you watched the last video, you spent the last few days trying to get hold of some of your thoughts. Now, this is, this is a tricky thing to do, so you are going to need to keep practicing, and sometimes it might just feel like you're guessing at what your thoughts are, but your best guess is probably going to be really accurate, so persevere with this, it will get easier. In this video, we're going to continue to look at our thoughts because our thoughts are really important in influencing how we feel. But we're going to look specifically at types of thinking patterns or thinking filters that we tend to engage in when we feel depressed. Now, we're not neutral objective observers of the world. So some, when something happens in the outside world, we tend to filter it or categorize it in order to make sense of it. Now this makes our sort of information processing or way of thinking very efficient, but because stuff is filtered out in that process, it opens up our thoughts to some inaccuracies. It leads us sometimes to have quite an unhelpful focus. So if we're in quite a vulnerable place, this can have a very negative impact on our mood. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna talk you through some of the most common thinking patterns that we found in people when they are depressed. Okay, the first one is something called all or nothing thinking. And this is where you categorize the world in very black and white terms. So for example, if something isn't completely perfect, it's an absolute failure. Now doing this makes it very easy to criticize yourself because the world or most of the world exists in the shades of gray. But when this filter is in operation, that means that because most things aren't perfect, most things get put into that nothing category, that black category, that failure category. Okay, another common filter is something called mind reading. So when we're depressed, we tend to have a very low opinion of ourselves. We tend to be very critical of ourselves. And when we're using the mind reading filter, what we tend to do is assume that everybody else is thinking about us in the same way that we are thinking about ourselves. Another common filter is something called fortune telling. So this is where you predict that the worst is going to happen and you ignore any other evidence that might contradict that. Another filter is called personalizing, and this is where you hold yourself personally responsible for all sorts of negative things, all sorts of things that aren't under your control, from how someone might respond to, well, basically anything that's happening in your world. So you might hear in your internal dialogue, it's my fault, an awful lot. Another important filter is something called discounting the positive. And this is basically where you discount all positive experiences and just say they don't count. This sucks the joy out of everything and it leaves you feeling very inadequate and very unrewarded. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a few more of these common thinking filters in the description. So have a read through of them and start to see if you can notice them in the way that you are thinking. Okay, finally, before we finish for today, I want to remind you just to keep going with your monitoring. So when you're brushing your teeth at the end of every day, trying to rate the strength of your depression and then trying to catch the thoughts that are associated with those strongest drops in your mood. What you can also start doing now is jotting down any thinking filters that you notice and see if there are any patterns. So for example, do you notice that you're using all or nothing thinking more after you've been with a group of friends. Okay, so hopefully this was helpful. In the next video, what we're going to do is start looking at swapping those thoughts that are making you feel depressed for thoughts that will boost your mood and your self-esteem. Okay, thank you for watching and I will see you next time.